Mr. Choir. Here it is, here it is. Hey guys, welcome back to another new video with Eric Reacts. Back at it again. Yes, you read right. ABBA Voyage. It's finally here, guys. Exciting, exciting indeed. Um, can't wait to get my hands on this. I'll be reacting to all 10 songs. Um, not full reactions on the three I already did. If you guys haven't seen those, check them out. I made videos on all those already. Um, I Still Have Faith in You, Don't Shut Me Down, and Just a Notion. Those were fantastic. I'll still play them, but I won't review them because I already did that. And I want you guys to check that my other videos. But guys, this is so exciting. I still haven't received my vinyl yet in the mail. Um, I pre-ordered it. It should. It's probably coming tomorrow. I don't know, but we'll see. But let's get right to it, guys. I mean, this is unbelievable. 40 years. 40 years, guys. And it's the final one. The final one. Um, and they're going to be saying goodbye. So... I still have faith in you when you danced with me. Little things don't shut me down. Just an ocean. I can be that woman. Keep an eye on Dan. Bumblebee. No doubt about it. Ode to freedom. And there you have it. Let's get right to it. Before we get into the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe. Makes videos like these a little more possible. And also join Patreon today. Um, request videos like these, other videos that you want me to react to. And if you're just there to support the channel, that's greatly appreciated as well. Uh, check it out when you get a chance. Um, check out my store, DerekReacts.store. I have a lot of custom tees, designs, inspiration made possible by you guys in my music journey, like the one I'm wearing now, many others. Check it out, guys. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and also Spotify, where all my Derek React approved hits make the cut. All right, guys, let's get right to this. Let's go. I still have faith in you. So nice. I see it now Through all these years that faith lives on Somehow There was a union <laughs> So nice Of heart and mind The likes of which are rare and grow so hard To do I have it in me? I love that part. <laughs> I believe it is in there. For I know I hear a very sweet song in the memories we share. Oh. I still have faith in you. And I God, the strings back there are just amazing. But I remind myself of who we are, how inconceivable it is to reach this far. There's a synth back there. Really nice. Do I have it in me? Oh, the drums! Oh. I believe it is in there. I know I hear a bitter sweet song in the memories we share. My hairs, my friends. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh. Do I have it in me? Love the little flute back there. I believe it is in there. 
For I know I hear a bittersweet song In the memories we share Do I have it in me? Her, fo her voice is phenomenal. It stands above the crazy things we did. It all comes down to love. Uh. Do I have it in me? Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Love it. Absolutely love that flute back there. Absolutely fell in love with that flute uh, throughout the whole song. All the drums, the big, bold drums, and then the marching, the marching thing that we get. So many little surprises. After every listen, it, it just grows more and more on you. And no need to grow on me the first time around because I fell in love with it from the beginning. But you find something new every single time. Uh, you, you listen to it. And that's what I said in my previous reaction. If I didn't say that, I'm saying it now. Um, and I love it. I love how it's, uh, she says, I'm, by the way, I, I want to give a shout out to Frida for this track because her voice has aged so gracefully, gracefully. And she sounds amazing, guys. She sounds amazing along with, um, Aneta singing together. Um, but her voice coming in so clear and so sharp. And this time around, I'm looking at the song and I'm saying to myself, my God, this is an album opener. This is an album opener, but it could easily be nice for a closer as well. If you listen to the lyrics and you listen to it, bittersweet, bittersweet song for a bittersweet song. Ah, oh, and you just look forward. To, you look forward to that part so, so much. I love it. I love it. I love the transition to everything. The epicness of that part where the transition takes place and, 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 and the voices soar and the instrumentation grows louder, grows louder. It's just beautiful. Here I am saying I'm not going to react to review each track. And I, I'm, I think I'm going to end up doing it anyways, guys. A bonus. A bonus. There you have it. So you can watch that one too and watch this one. And it's, it's like a bonus. Um, but that's what's so great about Nava. After every listen to a song, any song, you can still discuss it and still talk about it and still flesh it out and and um review it after all this time i might go back to my old ones my older videos um that i've done um with abba way back when and review those as well so there you have it i want to check out next um well i have to because if i'm gonna do the full album uh when you dance with me this is brand new guys brand new i haven't heard it before so i'm looking forward to this one um next i'm scoring i i still have faith in you at a 10 um I don't know when I'm going to play this song again because I, when it comes to replay, um, you have to find a, a, a kind of like a good time and place to play a song. It's not, it's not necessarily a song you would probably play in the car, right? I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see. But uh, I'll see you guys for that one next. I never meant to 
a short cute song guys <laughs> that's that's the best way to sum this one up short and cute uh, <laughs> um i think it was a very fun song a lot of irish type of celtic uh vibes on this one specifically with bagpipes i was it almost sounds like bagpipes this reminded me a little bit of fernando a little bit um and and chiquitita it's almost like they had a baby fernando and chiquitita had a baby <laughs> um and you know it's it's like a, it's, I think it's called river dance. That's kind of like, I guess that's the, 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 the sound style. Um, but it, you kind of get those vibes. Um, you hear tambourines, bagpipes, I think they're in there. I don't know. But I'm going to tell you something. I don't know if you guys agree with me when I say this. Specifically, coming into these two songs thus far, so far, have you noticed that Frida's voice seems to be very, very powerful? Um, to the point where you can't even hear um, Aneta. I don't know if that's um, done intentionally. I don't know. But you have to understand that years, years and years have passed by, guys. So their voices change. But her voice is coming in really strong, guys. Really strong. Um, and they're sharing this one when it comes to singing and harmonization. Um, no one really takes the lead. But, uh, uh, but Frida's voice is completely powerful, guys. It's really powerful. Very, very, very... Um, pronounced very very pronounced so the next one coming in is little things i'm gonna give this one guys i'm gonna give this one a seven i know you guys are gonna be like oh he's you're rating this too low but guys i'm being honest i'm being honest i'm, I'm rating this on first listen maybe this one's gonna grow on me i don't know um i don't uh I, i'm not really uh, i'm not really in love with it i'm not really in love with it so that's just me but let's continue there's still a lot of song, songs left on this one see you guys for the next one That's nice. Little things like my gentle touch. Oh. It's amazing, darling, that so little can achieve so much. Little things like your sleepy smile. Oh. As a brand new day is dawning, it's a lovely Christmas morning. And a Christmas song. We stay in bed for a Wow, who saw that coming? Soon enough they'll be waking up from their dreams. Children bursting with giggles and screams. Oh, this is so lovely. Oh, what joy Santa brings. Thanks, old friend, for packing Christmas stockings full of nice little things. Oh, my God. You hear the little things like your naughty eyes. You'd consider bringing me a breakfast tray, but there's a price. Little things like <laughs> that happy noise. As a brand new day is dawning on this lovely Christmas morning, it's our children playing with their new toys. Little moments of happiness and 
Oh, what a beautiful song. That was another cute one. They've gone two for two for cute songs. <laughs> another cute song, guys. Another cute song. And you know what? This is one of those songs. Um, by the way, uh, kind of kind of strange how they, th they threw this one as a third track Christmas song in their new album. Um, hence the November delivery, possibly, right? They were like, we got to... If if we're gonna have a Christmas song on on this new album, we're gonna have to. The album's gonna be released in November. Just gotta, we just gotta do it, you know. But um, it's interesting how they just threw that. It, it almost feels like they uh they kind of like um they had this planned, and they and they of course they had a plan, and they just want to throw something together for Christmas, and it came out really nice. I this is one of those songs you listen to it and you visually can see you visually can see before your eyes everything unfolding on Christmas morning. Um, you know, kids opening their, their gifts, smiles on their faces. Uh, you, you, you hear the, the, you, you smell that, 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 that vibrant mistletoe, you know, and all that stuff. Uh, you, you, it's just, it's just perfect. It's perfect. It's, it's picturesque. It's visually is, is nice. And then you hear the little flute back there. I'm going to tell you something. They've got a real thing with flutes, um, so far on this album. Very, very prominent thus far in terms of flutes and i'm i love that i love that i have no complaints there whatsoever but they bring a choir out of left field um saint winford's school singers um and and that's them um and you hear them there in the in, in the in the towards the end but it's very interesting guys very interesting song uh look at look at this look at this line by the way i want to read it to you you consider bringing me a breakfast tray but there's a price um, having noticed her partner's naughty eyes, you hope if she's pre presented with a breakfast sausage, she'll impale it in a minute. Oh my God, <laughs> what, what the heck's that all about? Um, so it's 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 kind of like a, a, a naughty a naughty Christmas song in a way. No, that's funny. Oh, what Santa brings? Thanks, an old friend for packing Christmas stockings full of nice little things. Oh my God, Abba, who who knew? Who knew? Um, this one, I'm going to give an eight. This was actually a good song. Again, another song I probably won't come back to, um, unless if it's Christmas time, right? Unless it's Christmas time. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. So the next one's going to be Don't Shut Me Down. We, we, I reacted to that one earlier. So I'll see you for that one next regardless. And we'll, we'll take it from there. See you guys next for that. A while ago I heard the sound of children's laughter Now it's quiet so I guess they left the park oh. This wooden bench is getting harder by the hour The sun is going down, it's getting dark Aneta singing so nice I realize I'm cold, the rain begins to pour oh. As I watch the windows on the second floor The lights are on it's time to go. It's time at last to let him know.
completely nasty. Completely nasty. Me now. <laughs> I love Benny Akis. so great on this track. Aneta doing her thing. She sounds so great on this one. Um, I mean, it's just fantastic, guys. It's fantastic. And it's. I think this is when the album turns a hard corner and probably doesn't look back. Um, so my hopes, my hopes are high because this sets the, the bar really, really high for the rest of the album. Um, think about it, guys. What a nice jammer. This is a car jam that you play loud, nice loud and proud most definitely that bass the instrumentation benny on keys there's parts where i'm like humming and i'm kind of like making my own type of like medley can you believe that that's what happens with them i i tend to like when when a, when a song hits me a certain way i, I tend to like make my own <laughs> my own little my own little beat and stuff like that in between this in between the song but everything about it is just so good you get all that nice groovy um, jam. It's like very, very groovy. Uh, it, it, it has a nice head bopping effect to it. It has a nice head bopping effect and it's just really, really good guys. Really strong. The replay value on this one is really, really up there. Much, um, much like just a notion, which is the next one we're going to, we're going to, uh, we're going to take a look at, but it's fantastic guys. It's fantastic. I love it. I love this one. This is a 10 for me. Um, don't shut me down. I'll see you guys next for just a notion. And then from there, after that, we're, it's all new. It's all new stuff after that. Stuff that I haven't heard. So I'm looking forward to it. See you guys for that one next.
Benny's having a well time back there. So I want to share something with you because it fades away. I want to share something with you because it was given, uh, someone in the comments below gave me when I reacted to this one uh, last month, someone gave me a side-by-side -side, uh, uh, audio um, track of the original kind of like version that was done way back when, um, in, in the 70s, I believe, uh, versus this one today. And I got to say... I gotta say, there is. I'm. I leaning, leaning to the older one, um, for a couple things. I think the saxophone is a little bit more prominent, or at least the, the the brass instruments are a little bit more prominent. And also something that I noticed too in the other version that this one doesn't really come through with is that the guitars are much more. Uh, they're they're much more brought to the surface. Like they're they're. It's, I think they may have hushed it a little bit, just slightly in this version. Um, versus the other one. And I think it had more kind of like that Western Western appeal. And I like that. I like that. So if I have to critique it and I have to say what I didn't like about it uh, versus what I did like, everything is great. It's still a great song. But there's something much more, I guess, rustic or just much more... It's it just I just love that the way the guitar sounds in the other version. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but that's what it is. That's how that's how I feel about that. Um, by the way, how catchy is that? Uh huh huh. How catchy is that, guys? How catchy is that? This whole this whole song is catchy. This whole song is catchy. So this one's a ten as well. This one's a ten as well. Um, and back to back from "Don't Shut Me Down." So far, they're on a roll with "Just a Notion." Um, and the new one that I'm gonna be reacting to next. Can't wait to get my hands on this. I can be that woman. Can't be that woman. And I'll see you guys for that one next. This is exciting. See you guys. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also take a moment to comment, like, and smash the subscribe button to stay on all of the latest reaction videos. And guys, yes, I have a Patreon link. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you just saw all the more possible. All right, guys. Take care. Love you guys. Peace.